Good morning. Yeah, it's morning, believe it or not. <clears throat> oh, 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 excuse me. Right, so, I hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going to show you today something I've made and finished. Yay. Um, a folio. And it is using Stamperia Lady Vagabond papers. And they are stunning. Well, I think they're stunning. Anyway, here we go. No, hold on. Let me get this. Um, I'm gonna just get a piece of blank card stock for now. Let's stick that down. Um, because this is a tuck spot there straight away. How cute is that? Okay. So we've got tuck stop, tuck spot there, so you can put a photo of whatever you're gonna put in here. You could have travel. It's not a mini album, but you can use it for your photos or stuff like that. So, um, papers are gorgeous. Colours are stunning. You've got the blues, the browns, the reds, the, the violets. Gorgeous. Um, I followed... This isn't my idea, I hasten to add. I followed somebody off YouTube called Shelley Geigel. The woman is amazing. Um... Starting here, now she used a die to cut out the frame. I didn't have a, any frame dies, so I actually used my silhouette cameo to cut this out. It worked, I'm happy with it. Um, the back of this, I used a different paper pack and I used the Stamperia again, but it's the Voyage Fantastiques. And like I say, the spines are, are even covered, obviously. Whoops, and it's just opened up. It is magnetised, as you can hear. And let's get in there. So we open it up, and this is our first page. Um, no talk spots, no nothing, but you can put your photographs, photograph here, and then write about the photograph if you want, or just have photographs in there, choice is yours. Alright, and then let's get into it. Now, there's going to be a lot of movement, so please bear with me. So then we'll open up like so. And let's move that over there. So we're definitely in shot. These look like little books. Open these up. Uh, excuse me. And again, you can pop a photo there. And then you can do some writing here if you want. Or have photos on both sides. Again, the choice is yours on both of those. So we'll flick that shut. Then this opens up again. Now I'm just going to close that down a bit. So I can move it across. And we've got this page here. And I'm going to pinch this. I'll cut these out. Obviously part of the papers. So we've got a little tuck spot here, but then here we've actually got a pocket. I mean, look at these papers, they're just beautiful. Obviously it's very, very steampunkish. Um, and these I've just made some from the papers again, paper collection. And I've just made some photo mats. So you can put some nice size photos on those. And they just slip in there, or you can have them anywhere else in the book, in the folio even. So that's for your tuck spots. Now I'm going to, this is one that's going to travel with me while we have a look at the rest of the folio. This is Lady Vagabond herself. So I've made a tuck spot behind her. We've got this little lock, as it were. That folds over. And then we've got, I'll just pop that out of the way. We've got another pocket there. Which again, I mean, I just didn't want to waste any of the papers, so I kept making all extra photo mats. They're all good plain black on the back. Silver or white pen. Then here, with the Eyeglass, spyglass, spyglass. I made a tuck spot. Again, Shelley's idea, not mine. And this beautiful paper. It's so smooth, it's gorgeous. So that goes there. 
I mean, that'll hold two or three, maybe even four. Let's see how many. Let me look at this one. This, I only had this little piece of paper left. But I didn't want it just have that size. I wanted it a bit bigger. So this is one of the tags that came in the paperwork. In the book, in the paper pad even. And the world is a book. And those who do not travel read only a page. Gorgeous. But I mean, look. That little top spot. Those three with these. So that's three like, sort of like photos. Plus you can have a nice big photo there. Or put a piece of plain paper. A plain card and do the journal in the back of the photos. Do you know what? It's just literally the world's your oyster with these. It's only your imagination that limits you with this. So, yeah, it's, I can't even remember what those were now. How good am I? Not. Yeah, you know what I'm like. So, I'll put two there. So, I'm going to close that bit up. Ah, oh, that was it. Pick up. Help me out here, guys. Oh, that one. Is that one over there? No. I can't remember what went where now. Is that one over there? Oh, I'll put that one there then. So that goes there, that goes there. Right, so. Back over to this side now. We'll move the front cover over. So now we're on to this one. Right, so. Little pocket here. Yeah, with the little books. And then these are just shoved in. <coughs> Again, these were part of it, part of the extras. So I just thought I'd pop those in. I don't know why, just thought I would. And you've got a little lock here, but this one is a pocket. A proper pocket. This one again, just a really nice piece of paper. I thought, well, they can put a photo on this side and write about it on this side. And this one again, it's just, there's the books again. I just loved it. So, yeah. So that's a pocket there. Let's just pop those back in there. Click that over. And you just got a nice little piece of paper there just to either leave it as blank or pop a couple of small photographs on there. Leave the road and take the trails. And then, like I said, a little top spot there. Again, you see, it's just a little off cut of paper I had left over. It's just too nice just to throw away. So you can put a couple of photos there if you wanted to. Or put them that way up. Sort of work it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah. And then we open this one out. Over here. Uh, to there. And we've got a pocket there. And then here, I did a little tuck spot, a little mini pocket, I just added a couple of tags that came with the um, collection. And this one, just a lovely, lovely area for a nice big photograph. We open that up. I love the cat. These glasses up, the goggles up, I think it's brilliant. But there is a tuck spot there behind the cat if you wanted to. All right, just so you can see better with the black. But then with the cat is a waterfall. And that will sit nicely with your photos. So you can either photo on the one side and write on the other. So I've left both sides blank with just a little strip of paper on the top and on the bottom as you can see yep and then this side there's a pocket here another area for photos a couple more photo mats but again you can put a couple of photos there if you wanted to with these, unless you just wanted one large photo there. Like I keep saying, the choice is yours. And that, my lovelies. Oh no, oh yeah, you're, you're saying that. That one's just a blank piece. Just to sort of hide the gubbins on here. And I put a little lock there, just to 
tie it all in. And that is it. That is the folio that I've done, which I'm really rather pleased with. So that's all done. I have to remember how to close all this down now. So where does this one go? Can you remember? No, I can't either. Let me go somewhere. Does it go on the front? No. Where does this one go? Hmm. She says, oh, no, it goes somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where it goes. Did it go on the front? I can't remember where it went. I've popped it there for now anyway. So, that goes there, that goes there. That goes like that. Finito. So, thank you very much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shown you. And keep your eye out for my next creation. Stay safe. Enjoy your day. And speak to you soon. Bye for now.